Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I am Dan. I am Mike. Dan. <laughs> what are we drinking? Mike, uh, this beer comes courtesy of our good friend Jordan over Keep It Funky Beer Reviews. Ooh, it and went, it went uh, right. yeah, you gotta remember to link him in the description. I, I was linked. Down below. Link people give us uh, so he went up to Massachusetts. And he was kind enough to stop at Trillium and pick us up a couple of cans of beverages. Uh, so this is their Pot and Kettle Oatmeal Porter. Yes. Coming in at 7.5 ABV, brewed in Massachusetts, because Trillium owns Massachusetts, <laughs> next to Treehouse. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> Treehouse is over there, uh, Can end date is 3-18-24, uh, but Porter's I think this will be okay. Uh, so I got some information off the website, because oh, yeah. I'm not Joe from Beer Patrol. I don't remember this shit. Is anyone really Joe from the Beer Patrol? With well, the teleprompter. We know what you're doing, Joe. Yeah, we know. You got a teleprompter. There's no way anybody can remember everything off the top of their head like that. Uh, so, style oatmeal porter. Hops, Columbus. Malt, American two-row barley. Rolled oats. Pale chocolate. Black patent. Carafa 3. Carrot Munich. And C120 and C80. So, that is the porty. Porter. Porty. Porty Porter. From Joe. We've had a couple. Um, that. Oh my gosh! If you didn't know any better, you'd think that was just. Something. Is this your first dark beer from Troy? Uh, I think so. That's a lie. It isn't. We had a uh, PM Dunn Coconut, which was a beer unimpressive that was... to me. Apparently, no, it was a mystery beer, I believe, from Stephen, aka the Resource. Okay, but it was all. Uh, that looks like a hearty stout. Um, it is black as pitch. Really, I mean, maybe a third of a finger swirls up, but it kind of dissipates. I gotta respect the oatmeal stout. Oh, man. Oatmeal, oatmeal stout oatmeal. started, bro. How many breweries are just making oatmeal stouts nowadays? I don't know. How many are making oatmeal porters? Count them on your hands. Friggin' no. Uh. One. It passes the eye test. This looks like a fantastic beer. Oh. Oh. <coughs> I'll be okay. That is all the dark roasty chocolate that I wanted to smell from this beer. It's um oh man. Chocolate covered espresso beans. Cold coffee. Man, a little bit of... Is there not a bit of star anise in there for you? Do you love star anise? Um, I don't know where the stars in the East are. Um, Black licorice. Who just said that? Um, oh, Nate, me? what the fuck? <laughs> you got you see a variance. I got see variance, it baby. I'm like, what the, why is it raining on my arm? It may be a hint, but this is just a pleasant smelling brown beer. sugar. The aroma like is this, fantastic. There's like this um, rum raisin bread kind of thing going I on. I can absolutely see that. Like a nice spice. It is. There, there is a slight like a, a slight it's, bready. Dude, it's like jumping, like jumping beans, like jumping into oh, my. Nah, oh, we gotta just let's dive in. Yeah, cheers, thanks, buddy. First porter, mm, stout, dark beer. It's a porter. It's a porter. See, here's the thing. It smells like a stout. Just, it looks like a stout, too, but just taste it. Dude, let that roll over your tongue. And tell, tell me what's going on. <laughs> oh. Okay, so in the world of porters, as far as porters go, I think Dan just killed over. Uh, this is upper echelon porter. So all those... Great throw. Um, what are you, Frosted Tips Burrow? Uh, this has everything I was getting on the nose is slightly amplified on the palate. That dry, roasty bitterness is present, but it's not overpowering. It's letting all the other like chocolates and the, dare I say almond, like almond covered cho chocolate covered almonds. Uh, you're like you said, the chocolate covered espresso beans are in there. There's a nice, like grainy kind of bready wheat 
bit to it. It's so balanced. Like this thing is so bad. Was seven five? Yeah, yeah seven five. The, oh, I'm still getting boy. this rum raisin thing going on. I, I the raisin, the stone fruits there, a little plum, if you will. Like, like the spice, like a spice, dark spiced rum. Like release the kraken kind of stuff. That's good stuff. Holy sh! This is good. So okay, let's talk about seven point five. Um, the body maybe slightly thin, but it's kind of. But it's a porter. I mean, I yeah. kind of expected to be slightly thin, but I guess for seven five. You know what? It drinks like the taste of a stout. So I'm like, yeah, I want it. It does. It, it's it is so deceptive. Oh man, this beer's good. Okay. Oh wow, that chocolate's coming out dark like baker's chocolate. Cripes. Chocolate covered espresso beans. I love those. It's got pears. Dear Crap. God. It's already good. So you get the sweet mm -hmm. milk chocolate. No, dark chocolate. But the, yeah. the bitterness the, from the espresso bean. And there's like that green kind roastiness. Of bell pepper thing going mm -hmm. on. It amplifies. Up. Just it amplifies. Here. So that comes in with this um that wave of the bettering kind of cuts down that chocolate mm -hmm. quite often. But that coffee, it's, it's almost on point as to a relation. So I'm going to take a sip. And now I'm going to try after. Man. This beer is the, the pairing right there is amazing. It, it is. It really is. Um Beer, fantastic on its own. Paired with this, only gets better. Um, this is such a well-made beer. I'd like to call out the fact that porters don't get a lot of love nowadays. Yep. Yeah, it's kind um, of a forgotten style. Right. But, like, you get uh, like all you know the talking about. all the great stout aspects, mm -hmm. but in that kind of lighter body and yeah, lighter mouth. a feel. lower ABV And it, it, it doesn't fill you up as much give mm -hmm. or take, you know. The, but man, this drinks like a stout. Yeah, it's that's it's good though. It's really good. It's really What do you rate good. it? Oh boy, I, I'll tell you I'm, I don't really know what more I would want from this beer. The, I, I'll put it up there. Whew. Whew. Oh boy! Woo! Yeah, athleticism. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shout out to the black. Actually, we didn't smell that much. I'll give what it a high four eight. eight. This beer is right. fantastic. It's damn near perfect. Our signature porter, brewed with oats, has a soft, velvety mouthfeel. It's a bit curly. Uh, yeah, uh, with layers of chocolate and roasted malt on the palate. The ominously black appearance bellies. This porter's approachability. Pot and kettle is satisfying, smooth, and nourishing, but never lumbering or heavy. I agree. While not sweet, dark fruit nuts such as cherries, dates, and raisins reveal themselves as the beer warms. I think we called everything. They didn't, really, they didn't really outright say coffee, but... It doesn't matter. It, it's there. And it's... This is fantastic. That's, that's a good pairing, right? It really is. I'm glad you had some. Um, this is... You know where we got this? Stanzas? Nope. Oh. <laughs> One of these at a raffle. Oh, okay. Uh, raising money for the Galasano mm -hmm. uh, Children's Hospital. There you go. Over at Crafty's New York. Mm. Or Crafty's uh, Ells and Lions. Oh, yeah, okay. New York. So, uh, music the, for Moms. Yeah, Music for Moms. Great they, time every they, year. They, they raise uh, wonderful money for Galasano uh, Children's Hospital yep. in Rochester, New York. Uh Actually, one of the premier children's hospitals in the country. Indeed. And um, I will, I know I, it's not part of the Trillium thing, but it pairs well. And um, I thought it was kind of cool to bring these out. Um, so, yeah, we, you put money in for raffle and, you know, that's how they raise money. And this was part of the, the coffee basket. Um, oh, yeah. That yeah. coffee. I didn't know those were in there for. So yeah, that was a good basket. It's funny because we left it, and uh, Mike and his wife, uh, they kept calling her name. Uh, my wife won like four times, and so they picked it for them. And so, I had to bring everything yeah. home. <laughs> so this was part of it, and like I did not uh, expect this. I was like, as soon as I tasted this, I was like we got to get this in here somehow. Um, but yeah, getting back to the beer, uh, Jordan said this one was a heavy hitter. Um, I, I definitely agree wrong. with that. Not wrong. Just a wonderful beer. Uh, rating wise, I. 
For a porter, because porters aren't an oatmeal porter, this too. This is upper echelon porter. Upper echelon. Mm. I give it a... This is like a fourth. Ah, oh, man. Porter. Oh, man. Ranking in porters. Four or five. Okay. Yeah, Jordan, thank you. Uh, Would you rate it? High four eight. This is fantastic. Okay. I, I think this is... I, I don't know what else I would like from it, but... I, not that we're going to sit here all day. It probably is only going to get better as it warms, but yeah, this amplified it. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, well done. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan, for letting us try this. This was amazing. Yeah. Um, um and, uh, a big shout out to, uh, um, <laughs> um no, I, I was going to uh, say a uh, big, big shout out to, uh, the charity that we donated to get these beans. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. Um, Indeed. Yeah. Uh, down in the description. You like porters? Do you miss seeing them around a lot? Do you have a favorite one? Let us know. What's the deal with porters nowadays? Why is everyone so scared to make a fucking border? I, I feel like so, a lot of our breweries around here will make them, but they're just not widely talked about. Like, no one's getting amped up. Everyone just has to go porter. to the extreme. It's not a pastry style. I don't want it. Yeah, I, I think that's really what it is. <laughs> It's not. It's not a style. Is Porter so... the second to the brown ale when you go oh, walk in a brewery and you're like, all right, let's see what they're made of. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And if they've got a brown ale and a porter, it's like, well, let's, let's see. What do yeah. you got? All right, we gotta go. All right, bye. All right, see ya.